UI libraries is like mayo on a burger. Some hate it and some love it, but you can't argue it is important to make the burger good. And all jokes aside, no matter how good the backend and functionalities to your application website is, if the users don't like the way it looks, you will not get as many visits, purchases, or impressions onto your app. And a great way to make your applications look a lot better in a short period of time is using UI libraries. And so what I'd like to do in this video is just share a couple of UI libraries that I use consistently. And that took my websites looking from this to this. Now the first UI library that I wanted to talk about is Daisy UI. This is a component library of Tailwind CSS and I know a ton of developers that use this. And the coolest thing about it is that you install it and then you can write it within your Tailwind code so it's super easy. And again, I've seen a ton of people use this and it's very popular amongst Tailwind developers. You know, you've got things like a menu link, pagination, which is just awesome and just a lot of options for not a lot of code. Now the next and my favorite personally UI library is Shad CN UI. Like Daisy, this is a component library, but it's not a Tailwind library. You basically install it and you call it like an HTML card. So for example, if you wanted this calendar within your app, you would install it using Shad CN add calendar and then implement the code by calling it as a component and then using it within your front end. And if there's one that I use consistently and all the time, it's Shad CN, not only because it doesn't take up a lot of space, like it doesn't make your app slower if you're consistently using it, but it's so easy. They have a lot of options and it gives you that modern look to the website that a lot of people like. And personally, it's my favorite, like you got, you know, cool inputs, you've got labels. And one of my favorite ones is the slider. So just a really cool UI library that I think everyone has talked about and I've talked about consistently, but just one of my favorite ones. And by the way, I'll leave everything in the description below, like all the links so you don't have to worry about anything. The next UI library is Asternity UI. Everything ends in UI, it's actually kind of funny. But this one is for heavy duty stuff. I only use like one or two in my applications because it's just, it's so much code. And if you're using it all the time, it will make it run really, really slow. I mean, like, you only fans down here. But basically, these are just pre built, heavy duty components you can use in your app. So, for example, right, like the Bento grid I use in my front end, check this out. It's just a fully fledged component. And like I said, I use this very, very sparingly only because it will make your app run really slow and laggy if you're using it throughout the, the whole app. And just to show you, I only use this and this in my app, but pairing this with Shad CN or Daisy UI one or the other will make your app not only look like more modern, but it'll add a cool component to it because you have some sort of cool animations as well as the cool look to Shad CN. And the final UI library that I want to talk about, which is not really a UI library, but it's a cool thing you can implement as a UI into your app is uh, use toast. Now I'm kind of cheating here because it's a part of Shad CN, but it's also part of every library. Like it's not just one type of library, it's a part of a lot. But basically, okay, in your app, when the user does something like maybe click a button or you want to send them a notification, rather than it looking ugly or a weird error on the app, like I'll show you an example, like it just doesn't look good. A great thing to do is to have some sort of clean notification. And you do that by using Toast or some other notification system. And it is such a game changer to your app. Like for example, for my landing page to get the roadmap, let's say you put in a random email. I want the user to know that they got it in their email, right? And look how clean this looks. You get this awesome notification at the top. It's professional, it looks modern. It's so easy to do, so why not? And like anything in Chatsian or any UI library, you just go to the code, install it, and implement it into your app. And the final UI library is Material UI. Now, this is like the other libraries where they do have components, but one of the benefits of Material UI is the icons you get on top of that. So for example, right, you can get like a popper, input, portal, or stuff like that. But if you go to material UI icons, they have a series of probably the best icons out there. For example, you want like the magic wand, you got this cool little magic wand over here, and you just import it and then call it into your app. And even if you wanna display like notifications, but just a great series of icons as well as components all in one place with a fun little vibe to it. But yeah, these are just some of my favorite UI libraries. And as you can see on the screen, Screen, I'm using the one from Eternity, and I'm just showing you that I am applying what I talk about. You know, using like the card component, for example, from ShadCN, or even like the progress bar from ShadCN, and icons from Material UI. It just makes your app more fun, vibrant, 
and digestible for the user. And yeah, that has been the video. If you want to join a community of self-taught developers where we have like job opportunities, businesses being started, and overall just a great community of people trying to learn code and helping each other out, I'll leave the Discord community link in the description below. And if you want the free roadmap, I will also leave that down below. Happy coding. I love you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.